and welcome back to Jokkmokk again. Uh, it's summertime and summer in the kennel. This video I want to show you what it's like in the kennel in the summer, what routines we have and and I'm also gonna tell you who's expecting puppies and who's the lucky father even though I don't think he cares so much. Dog fathers usually don't but for you who doesn't know who we are first of all let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For a living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. It's summer in the kennel and it's been awfully hot for a few weeks here. Uh, today it's a bit cooler, yesterday evening or night we got some rain finally and now the air is totally different. Much easier to breathe and the dogs are much happier in these temperatures um, so every morning just as in winter I go out in the kennel and let all the dogs out playing around in the playground and then filling up water in the water buckets and uh, Every third day or so we need also to uh, wash the buckets because when it's so hot we get algae in the buckets and you need to wash them and fill up new water. I did that yesterday so today I only filled up with new water. Alice! to the others Whoa. she's quite nice but she sounds sounds not so nice she doesn't like other dogs so much just the one she lives with Otan and Ossi yeah Alice don't like so much when all the others are around you no Alice Alice and Ossi Ossi is okay so Alice yeah she lives with Ossi Wet kisses, lots of love, always lots of love in the kennel. Betan, I got the cone. You flow, 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 flow.
Oh, I'm losing so much hair. All the winter coat is coming off. Yay! Look, so much coat. The birds love to make nest out of it. And homey is a really toughy one. <laughs> what do you say? He's so full of wool. You look so woolly. Yeah, you look so woolly, homie. 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 Oh, you need to brush homie. Yeah. Ah, so much. Mrs. Hasse. And he's a really cuddly one. Hmm. But he doesn't want to be disturbed by, by someone else taking his time. Hey, Felisa. Oh, Hasse. Hmm. And yeah, and we need to pick up shit both in the kennels and also in the playground. Uh, most of the dogs shit in the playground instead of in the kennels. Uh, the younger tend to do number two more in their kennels in here. Uh, of course, here in the playground, they don't have the time, I guess. They running around and playing so much, um, but the older dogs prefers to do number two in the playground. Ah, oh, I got bit by a horsefly. I don't know if that's the English word. It's like a really big, big as a wasp, but they're not. And they're taking like chunks of meat out of you. And it hurts really bad and gets swollen when they bite. So after I've been with the dogs, I have to go in and clean it, I guess. And what do we find under the food table? Pizza. Pizza. In the kennels it can get really really hot, uh, especially on the wood floor and to get the dog some extra shadow, uh, we have put up some, I don't know what you call them, we call them sun sails, solsegel in Swedish, uh, sun sails I will show you. Uh, I put them up in the beginning of the summer and we did the solution like this. Gives the dog some extra shadow. It's nice. The dogs really love to play with the water hose, and yeah, well, we have the small pool, children pool in hard plastic that they can cool down. Not everyone likes that, but Hasse for sure do. He really enjoys the pool and warm days, now almost every day is the last time, we have some water fun with a water hose.
dogs have been out playing for about one hour in the playground and playing with the water so I'm gonna put her in their kennels again this is Sara and Extreme our oldest Sara and Extreme are 13 years old this autumn Oh, <laughs> yeah. Really hot days. They come into the house. It's a little bit cooler in the house. And then I used to bring them inside. I think they deserve it. The oldies. And this is Troll, he's a father to be. Right Troll? You have no idea. Do you? No, you have no idea. Yeah. Dolly having babies. We're expecting the puppies. I think it's really hard because we never saw them breeding. But they like to do it private, Dolly and Troll. So we know when she started to go into heat and then Troll and Dolly lived together all the time when she was in heat. Uh, but when I look at Dolly's belly, I guess it's about two weeks more to go. Belly is quite round. Um, the titties has start to get a bit swollen. You can yeah, coming in a little bit of milk. But that could do it can do that for quite a long time before they getting the puppies. Except for doing guided tours and taking care of the dogs in summer and everything around that. We also rent out canoes and kayaks to people and we drive them out and pick them up to their locations. And now in the afternoon I have um, um, a couple I think, or I'm not sure if it's a couple or just friends. But two persons are gonna rent a canoe for eight days and I'm gonna prepare and load the car with things they're gonna have uh, before I'm gonna bring them up and take them out to a lake called Karats. It's about 50 kilometers from here.
home again after driving two person with a canoe out to the Pearl River Nature Reserve. Ah, oh, really tired after driving car some hours. So I'm going in now and take a little bit to eat, I think, before I go out and feed the dogs. Put on the dog clothes again and now it's time to feed the dogs for the evening. Um, yeah, you hear they eager to come out in the playground again. <laughs> It's pretty much the same procedure now as we have in the morning. I'm gonna fill up water, picking up the shit, but then I'm also gonna give the dogs food. In uh, summertime we only feed the dogs once a day. They are not running or training, uh, just running in the playground, which is not so much as in winter so they don't need as much food in the summertime and <laughs> Got lots of licking in my face again. Uh, if we feed them more in summer, they won't eat. Uh, actually, some days they leave some food anyway when we give them in summertime. So it's not really a point to give them more. Uh, Dolly, of course, who have uh, are expecting puppies, she will get some uh, extra in the morning. Hasse and Happy has been creative today and done this. So now I'm gonna get some uh, tar and put on it because tar tastes really bad. So when they're biting on stuff, uh, we put some tar mixed with oil on those places and then if they try to bite there again it tastes really bad this is a never-ending story fixing kennels and now it's time to feed the dogs Who's gonna get first? Well, Happy and Hussy, maybe. Happy. In 
summertime, every other day we give dry food as I do today and every other day we give uh, uh, frozen meat and such. Um, this is how we feed in, in summer, in winter we feed differently but in uh, summer we see that that this is a good way of feeding our dogs then they eat good and yeah that works for us dog food is the most expensive thing we have during the year and we spend about I think 350,000 Swedish crowns a year on dog food um, so it's a lot of money the food we give now this ones are not like a husky food it's uh, it's actually retriever food, uh, but we got it for free from Royal Canin just to help us through this uh, financial situation when we got struck by the COVID. So Royal Canin has been really nice and sponsored us with some food, uh, both this winter and also we got this uh, retriever food with short meat for the summer, but we mix it with uh, the usual high energy food that we usually give to the huskies. And we also actually got some food from another uh, dog food company that we usually don't buy any dog food from and they're called Prima Dog Sweden. Uh, we got some food uh, this winter and that food is we're out of that food now but that was also a big help in this uh, situation This was all from me for this time. Um, if you like to see more videos from the kennel, uh, please say so in the comment. I really like to make them. And if you want to see more of our adventures or daily life for dogs or whatever that we publish here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumb up. Uh, yeah, now time is dinner time for me. It's 10 o'clock in the evening and I've started to get really tired and hungry. So now I'm going inside. Take care everybody. Bye.